Today's session we're going to be building the Zoomerang Max Air. These are the parts for the Zoomerang Max Air. The wing, the engine, the propeller, two AA batteries, and the charger. The first step is to take the engine and the propeller. You'll notice that the propeller hub has one end which is longer than the other. Insert the propeller hub onto the propeller shaft with the longer part of the hub facing the motor. Just like that. One of the things you're going to want to make sure that the students are aware of is that the styrofoam is very brittle and breaks easily. So when they're inserting the propeller hub onto the propeller shaft, they need to take care not to break or bend the styrofoam too far, otherwise it will snap. The next step is we're going to put the engine nacelle onto the wing. But what I like to do first is dry fit it to make sure that the propeller clears the wing opening. The reason for this is that the adhesive underneath this tape is very strong and not very forgiving. Once it's in place, it's almost impossible to remove. So, what I'd like you to do is have your students just dry fit to get an idea of where the engine nacelle is going to be attached on the bottom of the wing, like that. Once you're sure that they know exactly where to place it, you can have them remove the backing tape two pieces, three, and four. Once you've got the paper backing off of the engine section, what you're going to want to do is have the students place very gently the engine onto the bottom of the wing. Now it's important that they line it up properly but not apply any pressure yet. The most critical part at this stage is that the propeller be clear and able to run freely within the opening on the wing. Once you're satisfied that the student has the engine section in place properly, they can then go ahead and apply pressure which will have the engine adhere to the wing permanently. And once it's attached, it should look just like this. And that's really all there is to the construction of the Zoomerang Max Air. Now that our model's complete, let's get ready to fly it. First thing we'll do is insert the two AA batteries into the charger, like so. Next, we'll take our model and we'll make sure that the switch is in the off position before we start to charge it. I like to charge it between 10 and 20 seconds the first time around, just so that the students get a better idea of just how far this aircraft will really fly. It flies well, and you may be surprised at the distance it can travel on just a short charge. What we'll do is we'll take the end of the charger and insert it into the opening underneath the switch here. The switch is in the off position when it's fully forward. This is what it should look like. Once the model's been charged for about 20 seconds, we're going to remove the charger from the front of the engine section, like that. We'll turn the motor on just to make sure that it works and that the charge was effective. As you can see in here, the propeller is running freely and isn't obstructed at all by the wing section. If for some reason your engine isn't working, the problem is probably the contact in the rechargeable battery in here. If you'll notice, there's a very small screw that holds the plate over the rechargeable battery. Remove the screw, remove the plate, and make sure that the battery is touching both contacts in the front and the rear of the engine section. Before we take our model airplane outside and fly it, it's important to take a look at the rear section of the wing. This triangle here is going to be our elevator, and it can be used to affect the pitch of the aircraft. By pointing it upward, just like that, the airplane will go up. If it goes up too much and stalls, you can bring it back down for a more level flight. The Zoomerang Max Air is made mostly of styrofoam, which can be very delicate sometimes. If for some reason the student's wing breaks or a little piece falls off, it can be easily repaired using your clear cellophane tape. And now you have many hours of good flying to look forward to.